Hello, I'm Apex Toy Cat, and the final 1.20 feature was just announced, and it is a brand new biome, complete with a brand new type of wood. We also have a leak about what the Sniffers plant will look like, and it's absolutely crazy because the theme of 1.20 is something we need to talk about today, alongside all of that stuff. You might have worked out by now, but I'm not in a place where I can usually record a video, but this is incredibly exciting news, so I'm giving it to you anyway, even though it's so cold here. It's minus 10 or something it said it would be today. My hand is very freezing, but you need to know about the brand new cherry biome because it looks incredible and this wood type is perhaps the best tone they've had yet and so let's talk about it first of all though subscribe if you want to see more of these videos where i don't have frost building up on my eyebrows <laughs> but yeah let's talk about this brand new biome because these are the new screenshots revealed off it and look there's a cute little sniffer in there so first things first i don't think it's a coincidence that this is releasing on valentine's day it's february the 14th happy valentine's day by the way and so we get a brand new pink type of wood and i do have to say based on this video of the brand new biome the new cherry biome is beautiful in its own right. I love this new pink effect that comes from the trees. It really does feel like a unique place. It looks like they're going to try and blend the bees into the theming of this biome. And also from this image where you can see there's a sniffer, you can see they're trying to make this new biome kind of exciting by itself. But I think the big thing that most people care about and the thing that fits into the customization uh, theme of 1.20 is the fact that this brand new pink wood is amazing looking. I love it so much. They show it off in a little house right here. And first of all, I love the pink wood by itself. I love the way the pink interacts with warp planks. Is it warp planks? The, 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 the crimson ones from the Never. Uh, it interacts with those really, really nice. Pink and purple go well together. But also the pink doors look so good. The pink trap doors are in use in this image too. I like both of those. The pink hanging signs look great. And honestly, this is a really good new pink uh, palette. And I love that they're finally adding a feature uh, that's been like one of the top ones on the Minecraft Suggestions Reddit for quite... Oh, Minecraft Suggestions feedback site for a while. But also it was uh, mentioned by a developer about 10 years ago. I remember in the list of features they said they would add uh, like I made a video in like 2014 and in that video cherry trees were like the really fun idea that would come eventually so the fact that they finally added them is pretty cool also really interesting is the fact that trees in Minecraft seem to come in updates of two. So here's a fun graph that Harrison put together that shows the number of trees per update. As you can see, it's usually two. The only exceptions, because uh, birch and spruce came together, and then Aca uh, acacia and dark oak came together, and then there's also uh, the two never types of tree, and then we've got bamboo and we've got the cherry wood. I think that's really interesting. Only mangrove and jungle came alone, and so... I don't know, tells you something interesting about Minecraft. We also heard from, uh, so, you know, that's really interesting by itself. There's two new types of tree. Uh, the new types of customization are great, but in this update, they also confirm this is the final feature reveal that they are doing. So that is kind of a big deal. I, again, like looking at the wood type, it is a great feature. Add in the sniffer that we got on Monday, add in the archaeology we got last Friday. This is the week of 1.20 feature reveals, and we're going to be playing around with these features in the next few weeks, it sounds like. But um, I do have to say, it's an interesting place to end the big announcement. So, um, I think uh, even though if we finished right here, we'd have definitely a wild update sized update. The hype around this update is so much greater. And I think that's telling us that Mojang are working out how better to announce their updates to maintain community hype. People uh, look at this and they say, whoa, actually, that's amazing. Whereas they would look at, say, 1.19 and say, well, it's kind of missing stuff, isn't it? Um, I do have to say, I think theming... So, you know, they, they did the announce of this update very well. Uh, there are going to be more features to come. They said it's the last feature announcement, but I imagine that stuff like the Suspicious Sand might contain a new item that might not, but if they add a new item, that would count against it. Uh, the new plants that the Sniffer is going to be finding, by the way, those were leaked. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But um, yeah, I do have to say the theme of this update is really a bunch of random stuff put together <laughs> and then uh, made into an update. I don't know how they're actually going to title this one. It is kind of the, the customization and the personal personalization update, but it's still very, very confusing. Oh, there's ski people coming, but um, <laughs> it's still pretty confusing if you ask me. And so, um, yeah, I, ooh, right, right into me here. Um, <laughs> I don't know if that was intentional or not. Um, it's still really interesting, but um, I do have to say it's a really weird thing to theme. I don't know how they're going to title this update. I do imagine though, if they've only got these last three big features to add and then any small connected features, that means we're getting closer towards the end than we probably assumed. I think June was a safe bet for where they wanted to release the update. It might be they're going for a little bit earlier than that. We'll have to talk about that later when we have more hints. Uh, but for now, that's an interesting change in the progression of the update name-wise and feature-wise. 
But yeah, I think it's important to mention, uh, we did get a brand new leak yesterday. So Roger Badgerman usually hint, uh, you know, tweets pretty cryptic things. He uh, gave out the names of the three mob votes, and he also uh, gave this little pot emoji to symbolize archaeology coming. But instead of that, we got a full-on screenshot of Minecraft. How does he have access to a Minecraft build? If this was anyone else, even if this was like Roger Badgerman a week ago, I'd be so skeptical. But he did just correctly guess archaeology, or correctly guess archaeology. You know, probably has some insider info. So the fact that he thinks this is what the new plants are going to look like is kind of incredible. It has to be said, right? By the way, my skis are getting so snowy. It's snowing so much. I hope you can actually hear me here. But um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's incredible we can see the new sniffer plants. They are super vibrant, and I do think this is probably accurate. I would hope, uh, I, I think the hanging plant is a bit of a confusing one. Uh, this is obviously just a leak. It could change between now and when it actually comes. But this is an interesting look at what might be coming in these snapshots and betas this week slash tomorrow slash next week slash whenever it's happening. Something's happening very soon, and it looks like we got a bit of a sneak preview. But yeah, 1.20 as a whole, there's an interesting question. Oh, I just dropped my pole. Honestly, I'm getting covered in snow here. I'll go low down the mountain and finish this up. So yeah, I honestly do think looking at the list of features so far, it just about matches 1.19 in terms of size. But in terms of the way they've announced it, there's so much more hype. I mean, I can see this personally, but personal hype isn't a measurable stat. But you can see the community's reaction has been so much better. This is a similar size update to 1.19, but announced so much better. And that is something I guess they've learned in the last year. Man, I'm getting snowy. <laughs> That was not this much when I walked here. But um, yeah, it's absolutely incredible to see um, the improvement in community reaction to it. But I also think there's an interesting point uh, to be had. Oh my God, I can't see anything. Look how snowy my face is. I need to talk about this update though. It's exciting and I didn't expect, I figured, wow, there's been an announcement on Friday and Monday and the snapshots are Wednesday. Of course they're not going to announce something on Tuesday. I wrongly assumed, but again, I'm here. It doesn't matter what I was up to. This news is very important. I'd love to talk about it. Apparently it's aging me at a very fast rate, but it's important. And so I'm gonna get in my car actually. I think I might be less white there, if that's possible. But yeah, I think the fact that we're seeing this update tells us that this is the new era of Minecraft updates where they are focusing uh, you know, kind of less on theming and kind of mixing things together, adding the features they think are good at the time. And uh, honestly, I do think this way of announcing things is good. There's a big update hype announcement, then there's a little bit that kind of is strip-fed, then there's some more that's a big announcement at one time, and then presumably we'll see some small fun details about what's coming. I think this has worked out quite well for people, and people are uh, rightfully very excited uh, for this. So uh, yeah, overall, I think that 1.20 it's setting up to be a pretty good update. I think um, it is obviously not on the likes of like 1.16, 1.13, 1.14. They had this like really good series of like, it took, it takes a whole year, they get a big update. Um, and uh, right now we get like medium big updates that are, you know, like interesting sets of features. Uh, and ultimately they are making Minecraft better I think. And so we're entering a new era of Minecraft updates, it is basically confirmed. I will have to reserve judgment on you know, how that is until, uh, you know, obviously after this update comes out, because there's still, you know, there's still more to be uh, announced in terms of like what more stuff to, there's, le there's no more to be announced, but there is more stuff to potentially come. And then there's also the implementation of the things they have announced, which is presumably coming very, very soon. Uh, the cherry biome is very, very fun looking. I'm glad they've added it. The sniffer is a super intriguing, uh, you know, like uh, addition to the game. The snifflet and stuff sounds fun. Those new flowers, if the leak is correct and we have no reason to believe it isn't, uh, they seem incredible. Um, and, uh, you know, like actually, I, I like the look they're adding to Minecraft. And then also archaeology, it's going to be a fun system. It's not going to be the full system from before, but we're going to be able to make our own pots as well as our own hanging signs, as well as having 11 types of woods. So uh, Minecraft definitely is getting better. I do think that, you know, maybe given how many inventory items they're adding this update, new type of wood times two, obviously every single ver version of that you can pick up, uh, the, the new carpets and whatnot from this new forest, um, as well as the brand new, uh, you know, like stuff you can find, all the little pottery shards, all the different armor trims. There's so many inventory things that are being added and it's just, it's, it's intriguing to me. Uh, that they just keep on adding stuff without a proper inventory management system. I heard an idea that you don't even need to add the bundle or like an equivalent early game system. Just make shulkers easier to use. So instead of having to place them down, you could do it in your inventory, like how the bundle worked before. That might be a fun quality of life feature that honestly improves things. You don't even need to add it to mobile 
Uh, that, that was the issue of bundles, so just make shocker boxes work just fine for mobile, where you place them down, but for everyone else, you can click it in your inventory, do crazy stuff like that. I don't know what the end solution will be, but this update is, uh, it looks like we're, we're shaping up towards the end of it. There's a lot of uh, exciting stuff to come in terms of the implementation, and that's what I look forward to seeing next now. I, uh, I have a lot of curiosity about it, I have a lot of excitement about it, and uh, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed that I went all this way to bring you a video. I assumed very wrongly there would not be an update today, but again, it's like an update news today, but it's important to me to update you with the latest stuff as it's happening, and hopefully you enjoyed and appreciate that today. Uh, it is very important to me to make news videos uh, when stuff is coming out, because I know, uh, you know, that when there are channels for things I care about, it's cool to me to be like, oh yeah, this thing happened, I wonder what their take on it is, and my overall take is Cherrywood is awesome. It's amazing. There's no there's no downsides, right? I uh, And also, uh, my other take is that the 1.20 update is uh, in a very interesting space of theming being a bit missing, honestly. Uh, <laughs> but it is a good set of features. The community seems like it, and that is really the two most important things. So thank you very much for watching. Look, it's li I'm literally snowed in here. I don't think I can... I can't upload this video until I get internet. There's no internet on the mountain, so if this was late, sorry about that. But, you know, I... I don't think I can go home when it's this snowy. I don't have... I don't know if I have snow tires, which makes me think I don't have snow tires. And so I'm just gonna, gonna be a little cautious. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.